So the Fitbit Versa is out and we actually did a pretty in-depth review on it. I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description of this video and also in the card up above. You can check that out after you watch this video, of course. But for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get it connected to an Android phone and also an iPhone. And we're also going to show you how to troubleshoot any kind of connection and syncing issues you may have while getting the device up and running. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So now let's start with pairing the device either to your Android or your iPhone. The process is actually pretty simple and they are pretty much both the same. What you're going to do, first of all, you want to make sure you have a Fitbit account. If you don't already have one, you can go to Fitbit.com and sign up for it. All they really need is your email address. There's no additional cost for setting up the account itself. Once the account is set up then you're going to go into your respective app store so for apple it's going to be the apple app store of course and for android it's going to be the play store you're going to search for the fitbit app in those stores go ahead and download that into your device once it's fully downloaded then you're going to sign in with that fitbit account that you went ahead and created once you're signed in with the fitbit account you want to make sure that you have the versa 2 with you connected to its charger the charger connected to power and pretty close to the phone itself and then you can actually just search for the new versa watch the phone is going to pick up on that watch and then it'll begin the syncing process in connecting the two devices together. It actually is pretty seamless. It's actually pretty quick. Fitbit's done a really good job in making sure that you can connect this Versa watch to just about any device extremely fast. So now if you're trying to connect the Versa to your iPhone or Android and you're running into any kind of issues, there's a couple of things that you want to check. First, you want to check to make sure the connections on your phone are good. And what I mean by that is that you want to make sure your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are both on. Those are both connections the Versa uses to establish that initial connection with your phone. So you just want to make sure they're both on and running so the Versa can talk back and forth with your phone. The second thing you want to do is make sure that the Versa itself is making a good connection in the charging case. The charging cradle that's there act as the pairing cradle itself. The Versa actually has to be within that cradle connected to power in order to pair to a new phone. So if it's not making the proper connections between the cradle itself and the connections inside the cradle, then the Versa won't pair the way it's supposed to. So you want to check to make sure it's making a proper connection. It's clamped in there tight and that it's actually plugged into a power. And then the other thing is you want to make sure that they're pretty close by. I know that these things can operate at a distance, but when you're doing the initial pairing process, you want to make sure they're as close as possible, just, you know, as a precaution, just to make sure that they're able to speak to each other and establish that proper connection. If all of that is set and you're still having an issue, try rebooting your phone. So just try powering your phone off a couple of seconds, leave it off and turn it back on and then trying the pairing process again. I've read that sometimes you have to do it at least once or twice for it to kind of get going, which is weird, but it's technology. It happens from time to time, but that should fix any kind of pairing issues that you're having with the Versa. Now let's assume that you got everything connected. It's working perfectly, but your data is just not syncing down the way that it's supposed to for whatever reason. There's a couple of things you can do to kind of troubleshoot a syncing issue between the Versa and your iPhone and or Android phone, because you're going to be doing the majority of these troubleshooting steps through the app itself. It really doesn't matter what platform you're on. These steps will work for either one. So one of the first things you want to do is sign into the Versa app itself. Then you're going to tap the account option on the top. Then you're going to tap the Versa and you're going to go into that Versa menu and you're going to tap that sync now option. So what the sync now option basically does is just syncs down all the information that the Versa has on the phone to the watch automatically. So this can help with the initial syncing of the information. So if you're having trouble pulling data down at the beginning, this sync now option will sync everything down and then it should sync categorically afterwards it should fix any kind of syncing issues you're having. But if you sync down now and it's still not syncing the way that it's supposed to in the future, there's a couple other things you can check. All right, so one of them is you want to make sure that the all day sync is also turned on. So this will give the Versa the ability to sync periodically through the day and just kind of sync down the data that you want to sync down. And you also want to make sure that the always connected is on. So you scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and you can go ahead and turn that option on. And these are just making sure that all these sync options that are available to the Versa are turned on. If one of these options are off or if all of these options are off, it can account for the reason why your Versa is just not syncing the way that it's supposed to. It's supposed to always be establishing a connection, continually checking for new information, syncing that information between your phone and the Versa itself. So the next option you want to try is actually just removing the Versa from your phone's account and placing it back on. This is actually pretty easy. All you're going to do is tap that delete button at the very top of the Versa menu. Once you tap that, you can actually just delete the entire watch from your phone. This will remove the watch from the phone itself and give 
give you the ability to resync the watch to your phone. And again, if there was any kind of error or corruption that occurred when the initial sync was going on, just removing it from your phone itself and repairing it back to the phone can go a long way in fixing any of those issues. Also, never discount the ability to just rebooting everything. So if you reset your phone and you reset the Versa, sometimes that will work to establish a connection between the two devices. I would say always just start with a reset if you're having any kind of syncing issues where two devices just aren't talking to each other. Reset both devices and see if that fixes any problem. If that doesn't work, then you can always just factory reset the Versa itself. That's going to reset everything back to its factory settings, deleting it from the phone, and then you can just start from scratch to resync and reset up everything that you need. Now to do a factory reset on the Versa is actually pretty simple. You're just going to swipe on the watch itself to the settings. You're going to hit the about option in the settings, scroll all the way to the bottom of that about option list and hit the factory reset option. And it's going to throw a bunch of big scary words at you, just letting you know that everything's going to be deleted. Everything's going to be wiped. This is actually what you want. You want everything to be completely wiped from your phone and completely wipe the watch to start off at a clean slate. Once that is done, then just go through the repairing process once more, setting up the Versa as a brand new watch onto your device. And that should hopefully, hopefully fix any kind of sync issues that you've been experiencing. And if you're still having any kind of problems, make sure to head over to Fitbit's site. They have a compatibility list. You want to make sure that your phone itself is compatible with the Versa the way it's supposed to. I found in my situation that some of the options that the Versa had to offer weren't compatible with my phone just as yet. You want to always check that compatibility list to make sure that your phone is on it. I hear they update it pretty frequently, so you just want to keep checking to make sure your phone has been added. So this video is going to be the Versa review that we did. You can go ahead and check that out. And this is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.